which is worse, sleep apnea or smoking? We're gonna go through the data step by step here. And when I'm referring to sleep apnea, I am talking about obstructive sleep apnea that is not successfully being treated. That can mean you have sleep apnea and you're doing nothing and you're exhausted, or you could be using a CPAP, but you still feel tired. That is not successfully treated. We're gonna look at the data and it's not as straightforward as the first few might indicate. So blue is sleep apnea, orange is smoking. They're pretty even for heart failure. Then for stroke, smoking takes way off really high. For coronary heart disease, smoking way higher. But then here's where things get interesting. Fatal heart attacks, pretty even. Sleep apnea actually might be winning that. And then repeat events, smoking wins. But then here's the ultimate kicker all cause mortality. Really the only thing that ultimately matters, sleep apnea higher than smoking. Now to naturally support healthier breathing at night, you can go ahead and get a step-by-step -step breathing protocol made just for you. Just click this picture of me, I think here, or go to the website that is over my face.